Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Modern Racing. Today we're going to talk about Deutsch connectors and why we like them, why we use them, how to crimp the terminals for them, and how to deep in and put together the connectors. Deutsch connectors are the most common connector you're going to see on anything that we do or pretty much anyone else's race car. Uh, the reason we like them is because they're really high quality connectors. They are weatherproof. They also have a positive locking feature on them where when the wire gets pulled on it is not going to come out like some other lower end connectors such as a weather pack connector. We also like them because on the in the field you can deep in and repin the connectors without needing any special tools other than maybe a small uh, flat blade screwdriver for most of the connectors and they also have a nice mounting system on them as well. The first series of the Deutsch connectors that we're going to talk about are the DTM series. These are the middle row right here. They're generally for your lower amperage things that you're going to hook up. We normally use them for sensors and interconnects between sensors. They take a size 20 contact right over here, you can see, and they come in two, three, four, six, eight, and 12 pin configurations. And they're good for about seven and a half amps of continuous power. The next line of connectors that we're gonna talk about in the Deutsch line are the DT series connectors. They are good for about 15 amps continuous and they take wire from between 20 and 16 gauge. Um, they're the most common connectors that we use. We use them for solenoids, um, most notably line lock, trans brake, air solenoids, anything with higher amperage. Now we also use them for lower amperage stuff too just because the insulation thickness on other people's products is a lot thicker and it's a lot easier to populate with these connectors. Next series that we're going to talk about are the DTP connectors. That are those are these ones right here. These ones you'll use for a lot of real high amperage things. Um, for example, a fan, a fuel pump, a water pump, uh, bottle heaters on your nitrous bottles. Um, these can take up to 12 gauge wire, and they can hold 25 amps continuously. They these ones only come in two pin and four pin configurations. The last set of connectors in the Deutsch lineup are the DTHD connectors. They come in three different sizes, uh, four, eight, and a 12 contact size. The wire gauges range from six to 14, and they go anywhere from 25 to 60 to 100 amps of continuous power. We generally use these for starter solenoids. There's three parts to a Deutsch connector. You have the plug, the receptacle, the wedge locks, and you also have your terminals too. One thing to note is that we sell them as complete kits, so you have everything you need to populate and lock the connector. One of the reasons we like these connectors so much is because they're easy to populate and depopulate. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you here. We've got a DTM connector right here and a socket that is already crimped onto the wire. All you need to do is insert it through the back. You'll push it through. You'll hear a positive clicking sound. You'll take your wedge lock right here and just plug it in just like that. That's all you gotta do to populate it. To depopulate it, it's just as easy. Take a little pair of needle nose, pull your wedge lock out, stick your little flathead screwdriver down in the lock that's down here. Pull it back just a little bit and then pull the wire out. That's all there is to it. We just finished a DTM connector, now we're going to do a DT connector. They're very similar. The DTs do have a special tool if you want to make life a lot easier on yourself. Um, I'll show you right now. I've got a two pin DT connector right here. You insert it just the same way as the DTM. You'll hear it lock like that. Always pull on it to check it. Now the locks on these are just a little bit different. You see the hole there? You need to keep that in mind for here in a second. You'll take your needle nose and just insert the contact or the uh, wedge lock, just like that. Now to remove it on this DT tool right here, it's got a cutout on it. You'll insert it in the open part and twist it so the the foot of it gets underneath that hole that I just showed you, and just pull it on out. 
and it pulls it right out. You can do it with a needle nose or a flat blade screwdriver sometimes, but just pay the 20 bucks. It'll, it'll save you a whole, a whole lot of time on that. There's three different kinds of terminals that you can get for uh, any of the series of connectors. Uh, you have the machine terminals, which are a closed barrel design that use a special crimper like this. And those are available in nickel and gold plated connectors, or I'm sorry, terminals. The gold plated terminals are nice for anything that's very sensitive to very small voltage changes, such as sensors. Uh, other than that, you can pretty much use a nickel plated uh, terminal for anything. The other one is an open barrel connector that just uses a standard set of crimpers such as these right here. Those are the most common for the do-it-yourself person. I hope I've covered all the basics for you guys for the Deutsch connector line. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. You can also email us at info at modernracing.net or you can message us on Facebook. We'll get back to you as soon as we can on that. Um, we'll also be coming out with more videos on how to's on wiring and uh, suspension setups and how to use ECU's and stuff like that later on this year uh, as well as other products. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Modern Racing and visit our website uh, www.modernracing.net.